So in Japan, students clean their schools. When I was in elementary school in Japan, we had to clean our classroom every day. We were divided into groups of about five students, and we took turns cleaning after school. In most YouTube videos about Japanese culture, they talk about the character building benefits of this practice. As an adult, I've come to realize that this is straight up child labor. Actually, since we didn't get paid, it could be considered slavery. Just to let you know, students don't get to choose if they want to participate as it is mandatory. If they skip their turn, they get in trouble. Each cleaning session takes about 30 minutes, and if we calculate using average US minimum wage, Japanese schools would owe each student more than $700 per year. Some might say that students learn valuable life skills such as cleaning, work ethics, and effective teamwork. But I think it just teaches students that it's okay to exploit others. To be honest, it's similar to American internship programs. Yeah, it's nice to learn how to work, but students also need to learn about fair wage standards. In Japan, working environments are becoming a huge social issue. Did you know Japanese animators make less than McDonald's workers? It's not because Japan has low minimum wage. The problem is often referred to as service overtime. What happened is that employees clock out at their regular time but they stay late to work for free. Those companies are called black companies. Just to let you know, this is illegal but many Japanese workers don't report them. If Japanese students can learn to get paid for their work at a young age, they will not put up with poor working conditions when they grow up. It's a human right to be compensated for one's labor, regardless of age. But most importantly, I lived in Japan as a student for 6 years, which means that they owe me at least $4,458. Japanese government, show me the money.